Hello, welcome back to Corbin of the Cut. So I'm back at Westfield Lock. We are on the third week of the uh, work camps that are down here, so they're week-long parties. Uh, this KSCIG down here at the moment, they got here on Saturday, it was a changeover day. It's Monday the 17th, uh, they've been they've been here for two days. Uh, there's loads happened since I was down here. There's an update video that's going out this weekend uh, where I came down here and looked at another group. They were still digging this out. They are still digging it here. It's uh, pretty messy stuff down here. But the scaffolding is now up in the lock and the brickwork's done. They finished their brickwork on the left-hand side already. That was sort of only um, three or four courses going up and a bit of patching. And they're doing the other side now, which is, is quite a lot more. So this is the, um, the wing walls around here which have to be rebuilt. I don't know, you can see some brick went down here actually. So I think it's probably okay below the surface. We've got stream just behind us here, so it has to stop. You can see the restored brickwork in the um, lock here uh, for where the gates go. So there's your will uh, your go, your paddle. And uh, the gate would sit in here. You can see the curve of the brickwork. So this is all done, just ready for coping stones. Uh, but there's, you can see the where the lock gate sits into here. Just needs a bit of digging out on the bottom there. See the brickwork here, so there's quite a bit more to be done on this side. Got multiple layers of it, first of all, uh, but this needs to be built up right to, I think that's the top there by the looks of the line going through. So there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight layers there. The guys are doing it now, there's a whole team of them on here, brick by brick. Probably get a couple of uh, courses done a day. So there's four more days after this on this one. So brick won't maybe finish next week if the weather's good. Let's see now how steep it is going down. So deep compared to what it was before. All that real sloppy stuff's coming out now and going up. So the canal channel's just here basically. They've started to dig and they're just kind of digging a bit further back now. Once that gunk's out of the bottom of the lock there, they can restore that section. Get some scaffolding up there and then sort of make a start on here. As I said, it's really deep here. So the trucks are struggling to get in and out. But you can see down here, it's really sloppy, but he's just on right on the edge of him there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it was part of the old lock gate. So he's actually helping the digger get out. It doesn't have the dumper, unfortunately. We've got some platforms down here, which, which helps. It's part of the back, but yeah, it's, it's just amazing how, how, how big it feels, to be honest with you. So this is the old, old wing wall coming through, look. So that's the edge going through to that tree line there. Hello, so this is Friday the 21st uh, now, so sort of uh, four or five days later. Quite excited to see what's happening down here. They've uh, been down here now all week and I think they've had pretty good weather. And uh, just down at Pike Lock walking back across now. So we've got quite a lot happening down here. See the wing walls now coming out. They've dug through and uh, just starting to curve on that one, I believe, by the looks of it. That's uh, quite a lot deeper than it was. Obviously that was still a slope where they were uh, digging out underneath the bridge still a week ago. There's still quite a lot of sort of really real sticky muck down in the bottom here uh, but that's now all been cleared look and they've uh, they've extended the scaffold along it was only kind of towards the end of that brick uh, just over there they've done loads of brick work maybe eight courses on there as well as the lower patching in so this is the last day of uh, kscrg down here they are moving out today and there's a changeover tomorrow where another one of the wrg groups are, are coming uh, they've uh, they've achieved a lot there's there's a lot of brick work done there's a lot of digging out done I'm not too sure if the eye wash there's a bit of an opening underneath there. It's been quite elusive so far, I believe. I've still still been looking for it. It's quite good. View of the lock gates here. Look, you can get right up to them. See the old metal bracings on them still. All of the brickwork's in uh, in very good condition here, really, considering this lock would have been been abandoned in the 50s and backfilled at a much later date. They did try to blow it up, but there's a very famous picture of a lady stood on top of the lock who prevented it from happening. She was a farmer and uh, she heard an explosion and came down and they were setting uh, more ex more explosives into the lock and the bridge and she stood on top until uh, until they left and then the following day an agreement was made where where the lock was saved so these are the massive stones that they've uh, they were moving sort of scaffold parts basically making a, a like a roller and um pulling them away from not dig was putting them on top of the the lock there we were kind of moving them across i, I did a day with them uh but they they spent about four days on, on moving these i think uh but you can just kind of see by my my leg just there quite how big some of them are and that's kind of like a mid-sized one there's, there's some big ones that one there's pretty big when the camera's on and some sort of bigger and flatter ones over there as well but they had to be moved away from the side of the lock so they had room to work you can see they've got sort of fencing up and stuff now for, for safety so we can get a better look down here now the scaffold's been extended so they've done a bit of repair work across this wall 
Uh, this wall wasn't that bad. Uh, they've gone sort of there's three courses in here that are new and a bit higher up as you go across. So that's kind of top level now, as is that side there. But that, that's a good 10 courses um, high there and pretty deep as well. So it's a lot of brickwork been done in the last week. When you consider that's probably, if you had the bricks all horizontal there, you're probably talking sort of five or six in places uh, deep, uh, maybe even more. In, the whole wall is a lot deeper, but there's uh, they're just kind of patching. This wall over here though, just coming into the bridge is a little bit worse. As, uh, as you can see in the, in the scaffold, there like where it's, it's they've bent it around so the wall's bulging uh, there was faults that the um, bywash was leaking into here at some point and it's caused it to um sort the wall to cave out and to, to expand out the bridge on this side looks awesome uh, it's very deep you can see where they're digging out now uh through to there uh fairly good underneath the bridge as well there's a bit of brick where it looks to be repaired there but uh otherwise looking quite good if you're wondering what this is this is the uh, cow for the ladder so in a modern lock you've got to have all means of escape so they put a ladder on both sides so ladder will sit in this section here uh, and you might be able to see on the other side they've got a uh, blue two blue lines which is going to be a cut out for that side as well so it wouldn't have originally have had those no joe needed I'm walking under the bridge for the first time It's amazing when something that's not been used for 70 years, just kind of how good a condition it actually is when you start to dig it out. So you've got these sort of loose bricks here. That's the only sort of one course of brick to cut in. Uh, pull some out and replace as well. The bridge is still structurally sound. And then uh, into the walls here. Looks like there may be a bit of bowing on there, but that's a lot less work than sort of that lock is to, to restore. There's definitely no sign of the bywash yet. It might be a bit further down. And it's probably this bridge was built after, uh, which is I think where you've got the big coping stones across the uh, middle section. So it's probably moved at some point and, and brought further down. So this is really very cool. It's uh, it's been nice. I've been watching this one for a little while, as you know, and sort of helping out where I can. Uh, not enough, but I've been helping. And uh, to actually see all of this as it is now, all cleared out, brickwork being repaired, and actually standing in this absolutely massive lock. It's, uh, it's incredible. So here's the old uh, section for the paddle cut out on the back of the lock. Don't normally get this close to them. It's pretty good. So there's, there's basically a long bit which is where the, um, the pole will go down to the bottom of the gear. When the lock gate's shut, it will sit into there. I'll have a little walk up to the sill and have a look. Just want to say a massive shout out to, uh, to all the volunteers that come down here from these work parties, all the WRG groups, KS, CRG, and all the other various groups that do it. It's um, it's quite incredible sort of what they do as volunteers, the skills that are, that are involved in it. You know, everyone comes along and, and helps out, does their bit. They pick up new skills and uh, they do a fantastic job. This costs quite a lot of money. You know, these guys are giving up a week at a time, coming away from their families to, uh, to do this. So, you know, a huge, huge shout out to all of them. So when you open up the paddle at the, the top by the gate, this is where the water will cascade down to fill the lock up and then you'll boat will be sort of in here close to the sill just there you can see in the bottom of here where the um when it's pulled with water in the bottom where you've got like a the the bottom of the lock is uh domed to like going down okay so i'm back at westfield lock now on the bridge it's uh the 4th of uh, august i believe it's august already but uh there's been five weeks of work parties down here now the last week's one it was a bit difficult the wind was really bad it's still quite strong here today actually i couldn't really get the drone up to do much but it's, it's all cleared out down in there ready to go we've obviously got to keep a working track across there for, for the spoil so they're not they can't quite just dig all of this out and leave it the spillway has been found it's down down the uh, end of the brickwork just there and onto this other side it's just more brickwork really they keep continuing with it the you can see there's a load more being cleared out there ready to go they're working on the um where the lock gate sits so there's been a lot of work on both sides you can see that's been concreted over on that side and built up quite a bit and that's been built up by sort of half dozen courses as well this has all been cleared out ready to go that was that wall was in quite bad condition it's probably the worst part of the whole lot there so good steady progress has been made and they're starting to get the coping stones up now on the top over there as well the thing is with locks especially these massive uh, locks you know these are really really big locks 
the brickwork is so deep you, you can see here that it takes it takes some time to, uh, to to build all that up it's not like building single skin on a house or something like that you know, double skin on a house it's uh it takes weeks to just build up a, a small section because you're kind of you're eight eight to ten brooks deep in places and then you've got all the cleaning and preparatory work and stuff like that as well so I think it won't be long until we start seeing the coping stones in place. They, they've worked them out, they've got most of them in place, they've got one actually in on the top there, uh, as well as the rest laid out ready to go. So you can see just behind the chap down there, sorting out down doing the, the block, uh, the brickwork now. Uh, behind him is what's called a counter fort. So you can you see them, they go into into the mud and then they've got like a semicircle, like an anchor into, into, the, into the soil behind. So it's just another part of the support. Uh, of the of this of the lock wall itself the winding gear that was over here apparently has been taken into storage so i think when the uh, when this lock's restored and it's finished they're going to use it as a piece of art on on here somewhere which would be quite cool seeing a bit of the old history in with really new if you don't already subscribe to my channel please click the like and subscribe uh if you click the bell it notifies you of my videos as well also we now have members on our page so if you click just below there's a uh, little You'll see a little section that says join click on there and it gives you a few options currently got john over there setting up with the um measuring got some laser in here with a stick over there measuring up i was just chatting to someone but they've just um done this section here there's a couple of posts there so they reckon there's another two courses of bricks to go on this side still which they uh they i think they thought they were up to full level so that'll be done on a, a future work party you can see uh, just in there now looking they're filling in the gap uh, building a wall and then filling back filling back all the time so, yeah thanks for watching have a great day